Did you know that Twin Motion can move your furniture for you? It's probably not what I had in mind when I started this tutorial, but hey, we're here now, so let's go with it. Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how you can animate your furniture in and out of your scene so that you can create some of the best video Twin Motion can produce. What's happening behind me on the other hand? Well, you're gonna to have to stick around to find out what on earth is going on in this living room. To start off with, we wanna import a basic 3D shape into Twin Motion. All I've done is gone into ArcCAD, create one slab and two walls. Moving back into Twin Motion, to set this up, generally what we're gonna do is basically change this background to generic white and introduce some materials, some textures, and some furniture. So I'll jump ahead step by step and show you the process. So step one, like always, is set up your scene. We've created a single video with two parts, nothing special, 100 millimeter camera focal point, render set to global illumination, and of course, a HDRI sky turned on. We've done nothing else special at this point in time. We're quickly gonna just add some materials. Now that we've added materials, dropped our starting ground down a little bit to give it more of a shadow and floating effect, we're gonna add a couple objects as well. Once you've managed to include some of the objects into your scene, this is where it really starts to get interesting. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and press save because it has crashed about five times on me in the space of these few seconds that you watched. So what we're gonna do now is come back to our library and go down to tools. In Twin Motion 2023.2.2, you're gonna find it under animators and then under translators. Next, you're gonna look for the translator up and down arrow. Select it once, click it, and then let's click on a scene anywhere. We'll start here next to this potted plant. Press escape and select that translator. First thing we wanna do is link our objects. So let's link this potted plant and of course link the secondary leaves because it's a two-part object. Next, we wanna increase our distance, ideally just outside of the scene. So for this, if I let it play to six meters, you'll see it is just outside of our scene. I only need it to play once. I do not want it to ping pong or to loop in and out. So now that we have our potted plant out of the scene, it has a zero second delay, meaning it's the first thing to come into that scene. Personally, I'll come back to it. I think it might be the last thing that needs to come into that scene. So let's repeat that step for every one of these objects. If we start with these paintings over here, what we can do is switch out the X and the Y axes to see what angle it comes in. Then we can link individual paintings one at a time increasing our distance to four meters. Repeat that same step for the secondary, but what we're gonna do there is create a two second delay. So of course our first painting comes in and then our second painting comes in. We'll repeat that for the remaining elements in this scene, including the rug, the bedside table, the bed, the person, and of course the curtains. Now that everything has disappeared out of our scene, what we wanna do is come through them one by one and animate them into our spaces. Now, personally, I actually like to rename each one of these translators so we know exactly what they are. Now that we've renamed them, we can go through and actually delay them one by one. The first thing I want to animate is the carpet. So it's going to be a zero second delay. After that, the bed is going to fall in by a half a second delay. Following suit is of course our bedside table, so one second and we're gonna continue that in half a second increments. I want the cushions to fall on top of that. Subsequently, the paintings, then the curtains, then the plants, and of course, last but not least, the person. Now that we've created all of those elements, all we have to do is hit the export button and see what we've created. That it's exported, we can see what the final product is. If I hit play, we're gonna see that unfortunately, our carpet, our bed, bedside table, and human have kind of all linked together. So we'd have to go back, reanimate this, and I'll show you the finished product, of course. Anyway, that's all for me team. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, you can smash that subscribe button anytime. Behind me, the whole house is in disarray because, well, it's getting painted. If you couldn't tell by the drop sheets and the ladders, so for the next two weeks, you probably won't see too much of my face, but you will still be getting your regular tutorials and your programming. So stay tuned, and like always, I'll see you next week.